hi guys how you guys doing it's me again Paula Rashani here again with another video today's video is just a short video guys I'm sorry if I am not loud but there is an echo in this bedroom so I'm just here to tell y'all guys about something about uh, born again Christianity or let me just say like as I've been hearing lately um, I overheard a conversation between this girl and this teacher I guess they were just messing around and the girl was like oh you need Jesus and then the, the lady was like, oh, now you need Jesus. And then she was like, oh, I'm already baptized. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, people actually do think that when you get baptized, you're actually a Christian. But that's not true. Baptism does not mean that you are a Christian. Being a Christian, when you give up your own self and accept Jesus Christ to be your personal Savior, that's when you decided to turn around from sinful ways and live a life of Christ. Okay? Being born again and being baptized are not the same thing. Baptism, it comes after being born again. When you are submerged under the water, you come out, meaning that you've died with Christ. You've, you've, you've died with Christ and you've, you've rose up or you've, you've come up to a new life, okay? Um, so, yes, so, so be born again is not the same thing as being baptized. And kids could be born again, but then they have to come. They have to be in a position where they know sin, they know right from wrong, and they've got to know that they've got to understand what sin is. And we are all born um, under sin because of our first parents, Adam and Eve, when they sinned. Um, the Bible says, uh, out of one man, Adam, for our disobedience, that we all, we've we, we all fallen short of the glory of God. But under one man, Jesus Christ, with his uh, 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 obedience to, to God and to die on the cross for our sins we are made in you so when you come to Jesus Christ when you ask him to come in your life when you when you ask him to forgive you when you ask him to erase your names from the book of judgment and write your name in the book in the Lamb's book of life you know the, you know you are you are born again and then he the holy spirit comes inside of you and he starts to transform your life to be like jesus and it's not an easy process it's hard because um you've got to change your mind the thoughts and everything like that um so yes but when you are a child when you are born again as a child it's easier to to live a life of christ because when the holy spirit comes inside of you he t starts to teach you things and children are are much easier to be, to follow and to believe than an adult or somebody that comes to Jesus Christ when they are already grown and they've um they're stubborn or they don't want to do what God tells them to do stuff like that. So yes, so I'm just gonna tell y'all if you are out there and you've been baptized but you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ that you are not born again. Um. Yes, you are not born again. It's just a lie from the pits of hell. And you don't want to die without belief because when you die without belief, you're going to go to hell and stuff like that. You're not going to go to heaven because in order for you to go to heaven, you need Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a passport to the Father. He is a passport to heaven. He says that um, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus Christ is the way to the Father. And Jesus Christ said, um, told uh, one of the disciples, that um, if you have seen me, you've seen the Father. So Jesus and the Father are one. Okay. So yeah. So you need Jesus Christ in your life in order to be born again, because then He will send the Holy Spirit inside of you and start transforming your life. He starts transforming your mind and all that good stuff. So yeah. And yeah. So when you become a Christian, you also need to work on your mind, start transforming your mind, and not think like the world. But think like a child of God. I know things may not be easy, but trust and believe when with Jesus, all things are possible because Jesus says that with all with, with man, things are impossible, but with God, things are possible. That's why when you walk this life of Christianity, you need the Holy Spirit because he is your teacher. He is your comforter. He is your helper. And he will help you walk this Christian life together with him. You are not alone. You are with Jesus. All right, guys. I'll, I'll check you guys later. I hope you guys were blessed by, by this little video. I'll be, I will see you guys on another video. Peace. Bye-bye.